What is going on everybody? It is Ozzy from Oz Talks Hardware and today I have with me one of AMD's new and upgraded coolers, the 95 watt cool and quiet cooler. I know that there are plenty of comparisons between the old stock cooler and AMD's top tier stock cooler, the Wraith cooler, but I fail to see any real comparisons between the 95 watt variant and the old stock cooler. And so that is the point of today's video. So without any further ado, let's start with the comparison. So the differences between the two coolers are pretty slim. Both of them hold a 70 millimeter fan and they both support up to a 95 watt processor. The first obvious difference between the two though is that the 95 watt variant has the new red cooler on top of it and the old stock cooler is using the older black design. Turn them over and you can see that the cool and quiet cooler has a copper base while the old cooler has an aluminum base. Of course, this does play a big part in the temperatures and you will see that as I get into the benchmarks. But again, besides those two differences, these two coolers are almost identical. They have the same locking mechanism, they are about the same size and the same weight, and they pretty much use the same fan design despite the color. Regardless, let's see how these two coolers perform. I will be putting the software and the hardware that I'm using on screen right now so you guys can get a good idea of how all of these parts were tested. For the Athlon X4 845 CPU, the idle temperature for the old stock cooler was 28 degrees Celsius and for the new stock cooler it was 27 degrees Celsius. Not a big difference between the two. But as we go to the low temperatures, you will see that there is a larger margin between the two coolers. For low temperatures on the older stock cooler, we have 52 degrees Celsius, and the low temperature on the new stock cooler is 47 degrees Celsius. Now, both of the fans were pretty similar when it came to noise, which is why I think they're maybe using the same fan for each of the coolers. The old stock cooler is putting out 46 decibels on idle and 49 decibels on load. The new stock cooler is putting out 45 decibels on idle and 48 decibels on load. So again, they're pretty similar when it comes to noise level. So both of these coolers performed pretty well when it came to the Athlon X4845. But indeed, the Athlon X4845 is only a 65 watt cooler and both of these coolers are rated for up to 95 watts. So I decided to pop in my Athlon X4860K, which is rated at 95 watts, to push both of these coolers to their limits. So let's see how they do. Using the Athlon 860K, the idle temperature using the old stock cooler is 42 degrees Celsius and the low temperature is 68 degrees Celsius. On the cool and quiet cooler, the idle temperature is 36 degrees Celsius while the low temperature is 63 degrees Celsius. So the temperature on both of these coolers really ramped up, but they're still both in the safe zone. In terms of sound, the old stock cooler was outputting 56 decibels at idle and 63 decibels at low. The new cooler was outputting 51 decibels at idle and 65 decibels at load. So as you can see, both of these coolers did also ramp up their noise level with the new cooler being a tiny bit louder at load. Fortunately enough, two decibels is not noticeable whatsoever unless you have superhuman bionic ears. So in conclusion, the new 95 watt variant is a very solid performer for stock cooling and I'm glad that AMD is really trying to focus on the stock package when it comes to processors. I think this and Wraith have been awesome additions to AMD's new stock cooling setup and I really can't wait to see what else they have in store for us in terms of cooling. So this has been a pretty short video but I enjoyed making it and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I know a few people were asking about the new stock cooler that came with the Athlon 845 and is added to the 860k now and so that's the video for you guys if you guys liked it give it a like if you loved it subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace out